we are asked to solve the differential equation. This is the given differential equation you see and we are going to use again method of undetermined coefficients. Let's start with the complementary part. I write to the question to the right in order to save space and here I'm going to write complementary parts. And the complementary part of our question is let's directly write the characteristic equation CE. It is r square minus 4r plus 3 is equal to 0. And when we factor this polynomial, we have r times r minus 3 times minus 1. So that the cross multiplication gives the middle term. And so the factorization is r minus 3 times r minus 1 is equal to 0, which results in r is equal to 3 or r is equal to 1. And so fundamental set of solution is e to the 3x and e to the x. And our particular solution is c1 e to the 3x plus c2 e to the x. So what about the particular part? We start with an initial guess of particular part using the function gx. You see our gx is e to the x plus tan sine x plus 3x. So we start with our particular solution. Let's say y is equal to uh, this e to the x goes with a times e to the x plus due to we have due to the fact that we have a sine term we put here b sine x plus c cosine x and there is a first order polynomial here and we replace it with dx plus e this is uh, y and we need to differentiate it twice and the first differential first differential is let's see sorry before that uh, we have a times e to the x here and we have uh, also in the complementary solution c2 times a to the x here they coincide right first we need to remove these coincidences so we need to update our uh, initial guess by which we need to multiply this term by x. So it should be ax times e to the x. Here we go. It is ax times e to the x. All right. And what about the first derivative? The first derivative is here we have a multiplication term. And derivative of the first term, let's say ax is the first term and b, e to the x is the second term. And derivative of the first term is a multiplied with e to the x. And plus derivative of the second term is e to, already e to the x. And so we have ax times e to the x. And derivative of sine x is cosine x. So we have plus plus. Uh, b cosine x and derivative of cosine is sine x minus sine x so we have minus c sine x and derivative of dx is d plus d so and derivative of e is zero what about the second derivative a times ax has a derivative a times ax a to the x e to the x again a times e to the x and when we take the derivative of this term it becomes uh, derivative of the first term a times e to the x plus derivative of the second term by the first term it makes a x times e to the x and so we have a second uh, a e to the x here and we can replace this by uh, 2a e to the x and plus ax e to the x, of course. And what about the derivative of cosine is minus sine, minus b sine x, and derivative of sine is cosine, minus c cosine x, 
and derivative of these is zero. So let's multiply with them with the suitable coefficients and add them up to obtain the left hand side. And we have y double prime, it's cool. And we have minus four times y prime. So this middle term should be multiplied by minus four and also minus four here, minus four, minus four, and minus minus makes plus four, plus four c, and minus four d. What about y? We need to multiply y by three. Let's add each term, the multiplier three. So when we sum them up, what do we get? And we need to have a careful writing here. First of all, uh, what about a x e to the x terms? You see, we have a x e to the x here, plus three a x e to the x, which makes four a x e to the x, and minus four a x e to the x, they just goes away. And what about uh, a times e to the x? We have 4a e to the x and plus 2a e to the x. It makes minus 2a e to the x. Let's write it here, minus 2a e to the x. All right, what about cosine terms? Let's see. We have 3c cosine x, minus 4b cosine x, and minus c cosine x. 3c minus c makes 2c. So the conclusion is 2c minus 4b cosine x. And now sine x terms, 3b sine x here, plus 4c sine x here, minus b sine x here, 3b minus b, 2b sine x, and so it makes 2b minus, sorry, 2b plus 4c sine x. And what about x terms? x terms we have dx only, so plus dx and plus e minus 4d. All right, that's all we have. And let's write it in a vector-like form to equate our right-hand side given by the function g of x. Remember in, from our previous problem-solving video, uh, we named this function as g of x. And at g of x, we don't have, do we? Ah, yes, we have a e to the x term. And let's start by writing one e to the x. And there is no cosine x term. And we can say it is zero times cosine x. What about sine x? We have 10 times sine x here, plus 10 sine x, and a three x here, plus three x plus zero. So what we are left is just to equate the corresponding factors. So our equations are, our first equation, minus two, two a should be equal to one, right? Minus two a should be equal to one. And the second one, two c plus, two c minus four b should be equal to zero. And it follows that what c is equal to, c is equal to four b. C is equal to 2B, sorry, C is equal to 2B. And what next? 2B plus 4C is 10. Actually, 2B plus 4C is 10. Let's write 2B <coughs> plus 4C is 10. But C was 2B. And it makes uh, 4 times 2B, 8B. And 2B makes 10B. And 10b is equal to 10. And it follows that, of course, b is equal to 1. And since b is equal to 1, 
Let's back substitute here to find c is equal to 2. And also we can find it a is equal to minus 1 half. All right, what else? The next terms are directly obtained. D is equal to 3. You see here, D is equal to 3. And since D is equal to 3, 4 times 3 makes 12. And E minus 12 is equal to 0, which follows that. Uh, let me check. Okay. At the first side, we always write the original equation. Let's follow the pattern. E minus 4D is equal to 0. And since D is equal to 3, E minus 12 is equal to 3, which follows that E is equal to uh, 12. All right. So we have found everything, right? We have our complementary solution here. Let me highlight it in red. Uh, we have complementary solution here and we started with a particular solution. Let's write it here again. Y particular is equal to, uh, let's start from here for space purposes. Y particular is AX e to the X plus B sine X plus C cosine X plus DX plus E. And let's plug in our findings here, the uh, numerical values we have found. So, y particular is equal to what? Minus 1 half x e to the x. And what is b? It is 1 plus sine x. And what is c? It is 2, you see here, plus 2 cosine x. And what about d? It is 3 plus 3x plus 12. And finally, our conclusion appears to be y is equal to, remember, y is equal to y complementary plus y particular. And we come up with y is equal to these long uh, function. Okay, let, let's, let's write it. First light write the complementary part c1 times e to the 3x plus c2 e to the x minus 1 half x e to the x plus sine of x plus 2 cosine x plus 3x plus 12. My dear friends, this is the answer of this solution problem. This is the answer of this problem. And in the next video, we are going to start with uh, variation of parameters. It's enough for this uh, undetermined coefficients method. You see, it is not very difficult, but it is long and uh, you need to be careful, uh, especially about adjusting the initial guess and following the uh, equating the constants and it, an easy way of not making calculation mistakes is uh, writing this vector-like form, I guess. All right, my dear friends, take care of yourselves.